Hello, this is David Hale with Tech Dive TV. This is the day in the life. Today's day in the life is about television. And when did networks stop having an imagination? I mean, if you think about it, a lot of our television nowadays comes from copied shows from Britain, British shows. Um, it started with The Office. There was a show in the Britain called The Office, um, based in Slough, um, England, um, about a guy who ran an office who was kind of dorky and kind of actually kind of smarmy. So then we said, oh, this is a great show. We'll put it in America, and we had The Office. Great success. Good show. Like the show, but it was a copy. You know, no imagination. Then we had taken another show from Britain. They called it Pop Idol, and it was a singing talent competition for young people. And we said, oh, let's do that. We'll do American Idol. Now, produced by the same person, Simon Cowell and stuff like that. But nevertheless, a copy. So American Idol, very popular. I mean, even to this day, it's still popular. Um, has brought some good talent to us, but again, a copy of a show. Then they had Britain's Got Talent. And, of course, we couldn't let them just have that. So we have America's Got Talent, and now that's, that's all over the world. Idol all over the world, America Got Talent, and Britain Got Talent all over the world, different countries. But not original. It's a copy. So then we had copies of copies. We had American Idol, which is a copy of a British show. Then you have The X Factor, still Simon Cowell, but now people can be older and sing. And you have, oh, let's, let's change it up. Let's do a new show that no one would ever think was a copy, but we won't do singing, we'll do dancing. So Fox had So You Think You Can Dance. Then NBC has The Voice, which is, again, singers, kind of like The X Factor because, you know, it can be any age. Uh, then they have Rising Star on ABC, which is another competition, and you vote people up, and it, it's all the same. Then now there's a new thing. Channels are copying each other, and some channels are copying themselves. Now, I'm a professional magician, and I really enjoy magic. And if there's a show on about magic, I'll usually watch it. Unless it's David Blaine. I don't really enjoy David Blaine. But there's a show that was actually made in England called Fool Us with Penn and Teller. Uh, in our area, it's on the CW network, um, where magicians perform for Penn and Teller, and if they can figure out how they did their trick, they let them know they can figure out how they did their trick, but they don't tell us, the public, how they did it. Um, but if they don't figure out how they do their trick, they get to perform with Penn and Teller in Las Vegas. Pretty cool prize. Most magicians would love to do that. But now, there's another show about magic on the CW. They're competing with themselves. It's called Masters of Illusion. Now, it's not a competition show. It's just a magic show of different performers. It's good. I enjoy it. Some pretty good tricks. Um, and now there's another one coming on the Sci-Fi Network called uh, War of Wizards, which is going to be a competition show of magicians against other magicians, which is interesting, but it's a pretty narrow... Um, demographic. I mean, first of all, you'd have to like magicians and competition shows to watch uh, War of the Wizards. So, I don't know. I just think there should be more imagination in television these days. I mean, everybody's copying everybody else, and eventually you're going to turn on the TV, and no matter what channel you turn to, you're going to get a singing competition. You know, come on, people. You're getting a lot of money. You should, you know, have some more creative talent and some more you know, more ideas. Please, if you have ideas for shows, send them to the networks, ABC, NBC, Fox, you know, C CBS. Send them ideas because they, they definitely need them. This is David Hale for Tech Dive TV and A Day in the Life. You have a great day.